Right. Finish up. Good boy. <laughs> Come on then. Wow. Wow. Huh? Had to be done, didn't it? Yeah. Wow. Dad, how did you get down there? Um, you just gotta hold on. <laughs> no, we're that way. no, we go down that way. See? You gotta go straight down head first. I didn't really get wet, so. You won't get wet, they do it all the time, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Wow. I forgot to ask the price, it didn't really matter, did it? <laughs> oh, cool. All to herself. <laughs> Going quite fast, isn't it, when he's stand? Is it really? Walnut tree. <laughs> Sniffing chaps. We on a boat. How cool is that, eh? <laughs> it really is that simple. <laughs> and on the right hand side, about a quarter of a mile beyond the trees, we've got Farmhampton. Uh, now that's a quite old English village. They have a oh, wow. church, St Nicholas's, that's been there since the 12th century. A coach in house in the George, that's been there since the 15th century. And the Kenning and Avon Canal runs through it. Interesting chaps, isn't it? Barthampton also lends us to the view we've got now with Barthampton Weir and Tollbridge. Now the weir is the oldest man-made structure on the river, dating back to the 1400s. Wow. I'm not exactly sure when, so, we do know why. That's a really good photo. Back in the Middle Ages, during the summer months, there was insufficient water to turn the no. water wheels of the mills that are situated here. So they built the weir which creates a pool of water on the upstream side that can be channeled through sluice gates all year round to dry the earth and water of wheels. Right. Now as we pass the pontoon, we'll 
seen the big black letters on the building there, Barhampton Mill. That building has never actually been a mill. All that's left of the original is the stone arch which is the left of that. And there's a good reason why there's not a lot left of the original. And that's because this was a gunpowder mill. Oh, gunpowder mill. Fine black powder here used by the Royal Navy and the British Army for a period of approximately 200 years, but predominantly due during the Napoleonic Wars. But it all came to rather an abrupt end in 1880 when they had a small fire next to a storeroom full of their stock. Yep, boom, up it went, virtually flattening the site, rattling windows in bar over two miles away. That really was the end of the gunpowder mill. Great turn. Now the garlic. Is it garlic? Because of its geology, stone and the water. <laughs> now that water falls as rain in the bending hills. It sinks through the porous rock there to a depth of approximately two, two and a half kilometers where it is heated by the temperature of the earth before finding its way back to the surface in fissures. And those fissures come up to the surface in bath in three springs. And they are the cross, the headling and the king. 
is the king spring that feeds the modern day thermo star in the city centre, producing over 1 million litres of water at 45 degrees every single day. Largest Roman bathing system anywhere in the empire outside of Rome. Very famous in its day as well. As well. People travelling for months to come and take the waters in a town they named Aquae Sulis, <laughs> meaning the waters of the remaining Georgian Lido in the country. It's had a grant of some 4.7 million pounds to be refurbished and updated, and hopefully will be open to the public next spring. All right, hold that. And ahead of us there, the black and white building. That is the bar boating station. We've been here since 1834, within the same family ownership. And not only can you rent out <laughs> the tents, rains, gifts, pumps and canoes, they also build them here as well. No, no. Skill that's been passed from generation to generation within the same family. Good boy. You're learning, learning stuff, are you? The site also houses the Look at that house there. So. Wow. Very popular restaurant in the local area. Which provides the uh, corrugated roof there. It's a wonderful thing to do on a warm sunny day to sit down on the balcony and watch people come to terms with the art of hunting for the first time. Believe me, it's a place for free entertainment for the anywhere. I'll leave you alone for a short while now. Keep it up when we get closer to the city centre. What are you sniffing? <laughs> Sarah. Seventeen fifty. It's what? Seventeen fifty. Seventeen fifty. All right, we'll check it later. <laughs> Hello, chefs. What are you smelling? You okay? High five for the boat trip. Yeah. Turn around and securely tie them alongside, and you can disembark at your leisure. 
Bestemme. That was fun, wasn't it? You loved that, didn't you? <laughs> I think we should start a new thing, Sherpa Cruises, shouldn't we? Cheers for that, thanks Molly. Oops, no ships. Oh dear. Oh, the stick. Oh god, yeah. Hold on, let's put a tent. Number 10 are in. Got it to blow away. <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah, brilliant, that's brilliant. Thank you. Thank you, cheers. Thanks. Come yeah, on then. Hey. Wow, that was very cool. Very cool. Beautiful day. Hey, hey. Well, it was fun, wasn't it? Hey? Eh? Yeah, you enjoyed it. Go on, Em. How'd you go? <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Never been on a boat before, have you? High five for the boat. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> that was lovely, wasn't it? Very good day. Good boy. All right, let's go.